Prices really fell sharply last week. There was a lot of strong economic data, so yields went much higher. And uh, investors started worrying about what that meant for interest rates. And as interest rates go up, uh, especially if they go up too fast, people start worrying if it's going to affect economic growth, if it's going to make it too expensive for businesses to borrow money, for consumers to borrow money. And they start to worry about what that's going to mean for the growth of the economy in the years to come. Um, and interest rates and yields have been very low for many years, dating back to the financial crisis. So. As that rapid spike went on for four or five days, investors got worried about stocks, and now we have a six-day losing streak in the stock market that has been especially bad the last two days. And they've been selling out of technology companies and a lot of big recent winners like Apple and Amazon and Alphabet, and a lot of those are down very sharply the last few days. And the big question going forward is uh, earnings reports for companies are going to start rolling in on Friday. So is that going to uh, help relieve investors? Is that going to remind them that profit growth for companies is still good? Or are they going to see danger signs about things like uh, rising interest rates and oil costs? And of course, the trade dispute with China. And is that going to potentially make things worse? And that's what we're going to see over the next couple of weeks.